Hey, what's up? I'm ASXM, and today I'm going to be going over whether you can buy an artisan mouse pad from Amazon. I've always been pretty curious about this, and a couple months ago, my curiosity just made me cave, and I picked one of these mouse pads up. If you want the specific one that I bought, uh, I'll put the link to it in the description, but at the end of the video, you guys will understand why I don't recommend picking up one of these. Now, I always forget to say this, but if you guys wouldn't mind subscribing, that would mean the world to me. I really appreciate the support on my recent videos and the viewer retention and the subscribers have just been insane. So I appreciate you guys like a lot. So first of all, the logo on this pad doesn't look that bad. This is like the first thing that kind of catches your eye because every artisan pad has this distinct logo. It does have like that cracking that most other logos have, which just really pulls off the, uh, the feeling that this mouse pad is real, but uh, don't let that fool you. Next is the stitched edging. Once you turn it over, that's kind of like the main, like what the fuck is this? This isn't an artisan. Um, this is not artisan stitching. I'll show you artisan stitching on my shitting guy. Uh, it normally goes all the way around the edge and it doesn't split off like how on the wine red one it does. So that's like the main giveaway. Like it's pretty blatant. Uh, but what confused me about it is the surface and the foam base or the rubber base uh, They're really good like most mouse pads don't have a surface this good uh, That's like something special about the Heian obviously, but um, It's really fast and it's uncoated. I've used it for I think a couple months now And I've washed it a couple months to try to get off a coating if there was a coating now there was some dude on Amazon who put in a review that was like uh, the red like paint started to wear off. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but apparently the dye started to wear off, so that's kind of weird. But yeah, the surface is much faster than the Shinkai with the coating ripped off, which is essentially the Hien. Uh, normally, the Hien surface isn't as rough as the wine red one is. I'll do some close-up shots right now of the uh, wine red one as compared to the uh, black one and there is a pretty clear difference the stitching is much bigger and it feels a lot rougher and a lot faster i'd have close to no stopping power on this which isn't like a hien there is slight stopping power in a hien unlike this one now is it a bad thing no is it a weird thing yeah because that's not a hien it's not at all and it's weird that it's so good because it's an uncoated pad that feels somewhat like a munson or jackard or some type of material around there but just uncoated and insanely fast next thing that kind of fooled me was the uh, rubber base or the foam base it's dead on artisan like foam it's that same like uh, rubbery material that they use on all of their pads it's really good and it has like just like complete suction to my desk which would honestly trick me if you showed me this pad and we're like, oh, what pad is it? I'd say artisan if I didn't look at the stitch edging because the surface and the rubber backing just feels dead on like artisan. So the next pretty noticeable thing is the uh, X and Y difference. Uh, this one was listed as a he and mid and a lot of people always say, oh, there's an X and Y difference on a he and mid. It's usually not as bad as it is on this mouse pad. I'll do a little test right now. So yeah, it's definitely noticeable, but it's definitely not going to affect you in game. There's only a slight speed down from the Y as opposed to the X. It's almost unnoticeable when doing like something like click timing scenarios. I can't notice it and it's not a, that big of a deal. Uh, but the pad is good. Like I just want to make it clear that it is a really fucking good pad. Uh, it's not an artisan though. I just came to the conclusion that it's 100% not an artisan. Uh, I've only seen one other picture of the stitched edging online, 
and it was from someone who did not know if theirs is real. So I'm just gonna base that opinion on this patent is fake. So would I recommend buying this? No. Why would you gamble with your money, especially when it comes to buying a product that you know you could just get from the artisanoverseas.com? Uh, I'm gonna put that website in the description if you want a real artisan pad. Because just like, why would you gamble with your money when it comes to buying a product? That just doesn't make sense to me. Um, I'll also put the Twitter of is artisan in stock in the link in the description. You can follow him uh, and you'll basically just get notifications whether artisan is in stock. Uh, so yeah, it's overall a good pad. I don't play bad with it. I actually play very good with it. Uh, I really like fast pads. I played with the Shinkai for a long time with like ceramic feet. So uh, I was pretty red pilled into thinking that, you know, speed pads were the best and uh, they're, this pad isn't that bad. I mean, I enjoy playing with it. I definitely play good with it. So yeah, it's just not an artisan, which is kind of annoying, but you know, with Amazon, you can basically return anything. So, I mean, I'm not holding you back from going out, picking this up, playing with it for a little bit and then returning on Amazon. But uh, yeah, overall, Thank you guys for watching this video. It's not a horrible pad, but it's just fake. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, do that. And, uh, yeah, I really appreciate all of you.